Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Safety belts or seat belts are used to keep the occupants of a vehicle safe in the events of a crash. Most safety belts in modern day cars include a three-point support system. However, the three-point support system was invented only in the 1950s while cars have been on roads for much longer. The three-point seat belt was first developed in 1959 by a Swedish Volvo engineer, Nils Bolin. To this day, a three-point system is the most widely adopted car safety system. The reason behind this is because Volvo opened up the patent so that any car manufacturer could use it in their design. They decided that the invention was so significant that it had more value as a free life-saving tool than something to profit from. Prior to the three-point system, most cars used a two-point seatbelt system. This is still used in commercial aircrafts to this day. Now that we've talked on how the seat belts have changed over the years, let's talk about the main part. How do they work? A three-point seat belt system normally has two latch points on the car's side frame and one on the door. There are three types of collisions that could occur in the case of a crash. Collision one, the vehicle strikes another vehicle or object. Collision two, the driver and passengers hit objects inside the vehicle. Collision three, the internal organs of the person collide with other organs and bones, causing severe internal damage. The main purpose of the seat belt is to avoid the second and third type of collisions. During a collision, the seat belt normally holds a person stiff to the seat and prevents them from hitting the steering wheel and the dashboard. This is normally done with the help of devices called retractors. Three different types of retractors are used in the seat belt system based on the type of usage. The first is the non-locking retractors. Non-locking retractors are used to retract your seat belt back into its original position when you use them. To retract your seat belt like this, a spiral spring is placed inside the belt mechanism. When the person pulls the seat belt, the spiral spring is twisted and stores energy. Once the belt buckle is released, the entire energy is released at once to bring the seat belt back to its original position. The second type of retractor is the emergency locking retractor. These retractors lock the seat belt in the event of a collision. Two types of locking mechanisms are used to protect passengers in cars. The first one is the inertial locking system. In this system, a weight is suspended just below the seat belt windings with a spur gear attached to it. The weight is connected to a small arm which is very close to the gear. When the vehicle comes to a sudden halt or when there is sudden deceleration, the weight is moved because of inertial forces. This causes the weight arm to lock the gear and prevent motion of the seat belt. The other type of mechanism is the centrifugal locking mechanism. In this mechanism, locking pins are used to stop the seat belt from retracting further. During a collision, the user is normally moved forward very fast. This rotates the seat belt winding rapidly. The locking pins are also connected to the winding mechanism. This causes them to be flung against the stationary teeth on the frame due to centrifugal force. This instantly stops the seat belt from moving any further and protects the occupants. This is the reason why you can't pull the seat belt forcefully to click it into the harness, as pulling forcefully can engage centrifugal locks to the frame. The last type of retractor is a pretensioner. The purpose of the pretensioner is to force the occupants back into the seat in case of a crash. The pretensioners are designed to work along with the airbags. We've made a dedicated video on how airbags work. Do check it out. The link is in the description below. When the crash sensor detects a collision, a signal is sent to the airbags and the pretensioner. The construction of a pretensioner is similar to that of a gun. Near the main console of the seat belt, a six inch tube is present. The tube has a pyrotechnic charge sitting behind it. When the pretensioner receives a signal from the crash sensors, the pyrotechnic charge explodes and generates huge amount of gas. This then firmly pulls the seat belt harness into the seat belt console, tightening the belt around the occupant. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you have understood how seat belts work, and we'll meet you again in the next one. Until then, bye.